lovely weather. A warm welcome to Selhurst Park here in London. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Crystal Palace facing Burnley. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Well, this is the team Crystal Palace have picked. Well, the two wide players are great in 1v1 situations and their movement is also very good. But it's the midfield three that will need to control the flow of the game. And this the initial 11 for Burnley. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. James Tarkovsky plays alongside Ben Mee in central defence. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. And so the battle commences. Might be a chance here. Oh, masterful defending to prevent what looked like a certain goal. Josh Brownhill. Well, sloppy in possession. Connor Gallagher. Well, they'll be happy to have regained possession. We're getting the ball forward. McNeil. Electing to cross into the centre. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. to pick out a teammate just the clearance that was needed and the referee felt he had to blow the whistle Jeffrey Schrupp, a chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. We're going to see the first yellow card of the game, the referee not standing on ceremony. Well, he's under pressure now, it's a long time to be on a booking. Are you really getting stuck in? Can they hit on the break? Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw in. 
Ben Mee. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Gallagher. Superbly read and executed. Westwood. Opportunity. And there it is. The opening goal. 1 0. And they'll feel they deserve it. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. And the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? How can he take them on and beat them? But quick thinking defensively. McNeil. Cornet has it. And the referee blows for a foul. Well, he decided to take it on. How close it was. Well, I thought that was coming into the box. It takes a lot of confidence to try that. Not rewarded on this occasion, though. Will Hughes and Edouard with it won it back beautifully disguised ball and still danger here but no the flag is up and it's offside Mitchell Will Hughes Jeffrey Schlup Oh that's a pass of high quality Terrific save Well that's a top class save He read it so well Well it's been a while but these fans are now coming to life Can they equalise here? They favoured a short one here. Now veering in field. Hughes. Oh, it's a penalty in the opinion of the referee. And maybe they'll be able to level this up. And the upshot of it all is a sending off too. Well, it was certainly a penalty all day long. A sending off, I'm not quite so sure. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Chance to equalise here. In it goes. Coley converted. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power. The keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish.
So the ball is rolling again at one all. Westwood. Now let's see what they can do here. Making sure it didn't get past him. Can they forge ahead? One block after another. Regained possession. Veghorst. More sloppy in possession. Connor Gallagher. This might be ideal for the counter. All hands on deck. Are you? Had a chance to whip it in here. And a good tackle. Brownhill. The ball with Jordan, are you? Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Really poor timing, and some will argue that he was asking for a yellow card. Well, it is a yellow card, and it seems to be a problem of discipline here, Stuart. Well, this is getting out of control. They've got to refocus here and get their composure back. to be in terms of the cross there goal kick coming up a chance then for the respective managers to address their charges it is half time here well Wilfried Zaha very difficult to subdue in the first half and Stuart I wonder what you made of him well he certainly got his team back into this game with that goal because up to that point they hadn't played particularly well I think he's had a decent first half but he'll be looking to build on his goal in the second 45 the teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Possession one. Goodmanson. Oh, a lovely ball. Well, there is a very alert goalkeeper for you. It's a perfect challenge. Breaking at pace. It looks promising. Takes aim and getting across to stop it. Well, this is a big moment and don't these fans know it. Time for a change then. Coming off the pitch, number 15, Jeffrey Schlepp, to be replaced by number four, Luka Milovojevic. So the corner played into the box. Goalkeeper's ball, it was always going to be that way. And a bad touch like that usually will mean giving the ball away. Encouraging move from Crystal Palace. Gives it a go. And still danger here. The cross is on. Hughes. Zaha. And hunting for his second goal tonight, however. Well, you're absolutely right. He's been on great form today. That was another good effort.
Well, they're going for the short one. Deciding to go inside. Must be! And a fantastic diving save. Now sending it in. And the danger is averted. Well, the counter chance looks very real. And now passing it through. Less than convincing defending. Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. And only soft drinks can be taken. Don't do this. Thank you for your cooperation. Let's see about the delivery, and clearing it away. And he's won the ball. Veghorst, body in the way. Oh, he looks threatening, constantly thwarted. Excellent challenge. 20 minutes to go in this one. Well, these fans are pushing their team on here. They sense a winner's coming. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Possession changing hands. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Without Veghorst, unable to keep the ball. Zaha takes it on. Well, fantastic reflex action. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Playing it in. It's not a particularly good corner there. McNeil, can they nudge in front late on here? And let's give credit to the defending. The pressure was high and they could be in here. Oh, a goal! Astonishing late drama! The ten men find themselves in front! What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And they need to get tighter, but they dealt with the threat posed. Luka Milivojevic. And Zaha has it. And forward they go, chasing the game. And he's through here. And tremendous goalkeeping. Well, he just made it so difficult for the striker. His presence alone just caused him a problem. McNeil.
The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Putting his body on the line. High pressing at its best. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Brownhill. And that will be all. A disappointing day at the office for Crystal Palace. Stuart, where did it go wrong? Yes, Derek, there was very little in it for much of the game. I'm sure they feel they deserve a point at least. And it's obviously disappointing to concede in that manner so late on. But they just have to bounce back now. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Stuart. Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent, and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today.